Hello, I'm Rebecca. I'm Sunday Brunch's drinks expert, and I'm going to show you how to make um, a really fun Halloween cocktail for any Halloween parties you might be having this weekend. Um, first of all, you're going to need 25 grams of sugar and 250 mils of lemon juice. Um, if you just mix them together and then give them a bit of a stir until all of the sugar has dissolved um, really well in the lemon juice, otherwise it will be really sharp. Um, and then Mix that in a really big punch bowl um, with 450 mils of gin. Um, you can use any gin that you like for this um, because the lychee juice that I'm about to put in is really powerful flavour, so you won't particularly um, be able to tell if it's a really posh gin or not. Um, and then this is 800 mils of lychee juice. So you can pour all of that in and then mix it together really thoroughly. Um, you can use small cubes of ice um, or you can use... Uh, a big block of ice. That would almost be better than small cubes because a big block will melt much more slowly, um, give you less dilution, but still keep the drink really cold. Um, and then, as a brilliant garnish, I've made some of these lychee eyeballs. Um, they are uh, frozen lychees with a blueberry tucked into them. You do that before you freeze them, and then they hold together really well. Um, I'll just show you how to do one here. So it's super simple. You literally just take the blueberry and tuck it in there. Um, and then you've got a quite scary, slightly gross-looking garnish. Um, if you freeze them all before, they have the added advantage of working quite like ice cubes too. And they float as well. Um, so you've got a really sort of scary and slightly disgusting-looking punch to serve your guests, which is exactly what you want at Halloween. Um, let me just slide the rest of those in. Ooh. And then garnish it with 150 ml of Campari. Um, you don't want to stir this in because you want it to have a horrible red tinge across the top. And then some of it will sit in the ice cubes as well. If you had a wider bowl, you could probably drizzle it in a more slow way. Um, and here, and just garnish it in the end with some lemon slices. And so there you go, your lovely Halloween cocktail. This is from uh, diffidsguide.com, which is a brilliant compendium of uh, cocktails. So thanks to them for letting us share this recipe. Enjoy.